All right, in this video, I wanna take a look at this city sample demo, which is basically the assets from the Matrix Awakens demo that was used on consoles, but with the, some of the actual Matrix stuff taken out. Anyway, I've done a few videos on this already. Feel free to check those out. I've even tested my 3080, but what I wanna focus on more in this video is the CPU usage, because what I've noticed is I'm not actually getting my full GPU utilization, even at 4K, although right now you can see the GPU is near 100%. If we start moving around, we'll see it dip. Right now I want this uh, you know, standing still because I'm also gonna test out some side-by-sides of the temporal resolution scaler here. So right now, this is native 4K on the RTX 3080, but look at all those CPU cores. One thing I'm interested in is just how many CPU threads this thing is using. I have a 5950X. This is a 16 core, 32 thread CPU. Also, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, and when I did my RX 6600 testing, we saw the RAM usage go way up as I started moving around and went further into the video. I'm curious if that's gonna be repeatable. It kind of felt like a bit of a memory leak going on. So I'll, I'm curious if we'll see that throughout this video as well. Now the RAM speeds and everything, I mean, you can check my uh, video description for more of my system specs. But it's a 3600CL16 and so, I mean, obviously there's faster RAM out there and it's two 16 gigabyte sticks, but it's, it's pretty decent. And then, again, the 5950X 16 core 32 thread processor, and this is installed on a NVMe drive. It's a PCIe Gen 4. I think I've got it on my uh, Samsung 980 Pro. So everything here is pretty good, but you'll see the GPU utilization here dipping into the 70% range, even at native 4K, currently we're in the mid 80s. So what's going on here? Why am I not GPU limited? Or in other words, actually, why can't I get more frames? Well, if we look at all those CPU threads, it's hard to see, but some of them will bounce up into the 80% range. So I think it's definitely possible that the, there's a single thread that's getting overtaxed here and limiting the overall performance uh, because it's, it could be that thread being the limiting factor. Although it is also possible there's something else going on here. It could be a limitation of the, um, of the asset streaming because again, direct storage isn't a thing quite yet here. So well, co what consoles, could utilize extremely fast streaming of assets. Um, even though I have a PCIe Gen 4 SSD, I wonder if the fact that, it, you know, that's not fully optimized with direct storage yet, that that could be causing some issues. Now, as I, as I fly around the city here, I'm seeing the RAM get up to 12 gigabytes, so that, that's still not too crazy. And again, that GPU utilization is just nowhere near maxed out. So this is really interesting. Now I'm going to go ahead and drop the render resolution scale so we can even push the load further onto the CPU rather than the GPU, although it seems like even at 4K here we're already pretty limited. Alright, this is now at a 67% render resolution scale in the config file, meaning it's basically 1440p. Two thirds of 2160 is 1440. That's actually less total pixels, but the, the way resolution scalers usually work is they're talking about the, uh, the side length dimension, not the total area of pixels. Anyway, we can see now that standing still, things still look extremely close to native 4K. I think the most obvious difference is objects that are in motion. So like the people in the distance in motion and the vehicles in the distance in motion certainly look a little bit more ghosted and blurry than they did at native 4K. But honestly, I've gotta say for an upscaler that isn't like DLSS where it's requiring certain hardware and things, um, this is looking extremely impressive, especially at the objects that are standing still. Like the distant signs, I can still pretty much read the text, which I don't think I could do on a native 1440p image here. But let's see what happens once again as we start flying around. Um, oops, I uh, dropped back to the ground here. <laughs> what are my controls? Here we go. So let's fly around the city 
Once again, once I'm flying around in motion here, it's really looking like the GPU load isn't usually the limiting factor. It, it does pop up to be the limiting factor at certain points, I think. Um, but yeah, we're seeing the GPU utilization bounce all over the place. And again, it's, it's hard to track it, but the certain threads of the processor do seem to be go up into the 70 and 80% range. So, so I really am wondering if that is the limiting factor here. Now, I'm honestly not too worried about this if you're thinking about like future Unreal Engine 5 games because this demo has so much traffic and pedestrians. I think there's a lot of simulation happening here as kind of a way to show off what they can simulate. Now, if a console was doing this and targeting 30 FPS the way that this demo did on consoles, then I think this isn't really an issue because you can see that my 5950X, sure, that's way more powerful than what's in the consoles. Well, we're getting way better than 30 FPS, which is what the consoles were doing. So if that's what they were targeting this at, I think they were pushing the, the very limits of what the consoles could simulate. I also don't know if the exact settings that this is using are identical to the settings that the consoles used for the Matrix Awakens demo. So those definitely, there could be some differences there. Um, yeah, I think actual games that we get, like if we get GTA 6 on Unreal Engine 5, first of all, that's gonna be years down the road. So CPUs and GPUs that are modern at the time that games that are just starting development now come into effect, I'm gonna be a lot less concerned about that because you know my 5950X is gonna be out of date by then, guys. And the uh, mid to low end GPUs in a couple GPU generations are gonna be stronger than my 3080 12 gigabyte that we're seeing here. And hopefully by then, you know, direct storage on NVMEs and stuff is pretty standard as well. So I'm hoping we'll see all of those uh, limiting factors a little more taken into account. Now, we can go down to a 50% res scale just to kind of test that out, mostly for the image quality. But I've got to say, this, this upscale from 1440p, even in motion, I know it's not perfect, but this is quite good, I think. There's definitely some ghosting and blurring on motion and things in the distance, but it's close enough to native 4K that I'm not, uh, no, I'm not disappointed in TSR. I think that's pretty cool. Let's take out, take a look at 50% scaling. All right, here we are now at a 50% resolution scale. So this is 1080p upscaled to 4K. I can definitely see some more ghosting and blurring into the uh, objects that are especially in motion, like the cars driving towards us in the distance, the pedestrians in the distance. You can probably hear my kids running around upstairs right now, but hey, you know, this hobby channel. When they're playing happily, I have time to film a quick video <laughs> and edit it again when I have time. Um, so we can definitely see the GPU utilization is a lot lower here. So it's absolutely, you know, taking the load off of the GPU, lowering that render resolution. I can still read the distant signs, so at least standing still, this render scaler does quite good. And while I don't think this looks quite as good as DLSS upscaling from 1080p, I do think that this is quite impressive. Uh, for what it is. This looks way better than a native 1080p image on my 4K screen. I'll tell you that right now. Okay, so as we now fly around, we are now not even close to GPU limited, but we're still dropping into the 30 FPS and 40 FPS ranges as we move around the city. So yeah, there's something, uh, something else is a huge limit on what's going on here. So the last thing that we could do is play around with actually changing the graphics settings and see if some of the uh, setting options in the game by lowering them could relieve some of this um, CPU or asset streaming or whatever it is issue to see if we could actually hit 60 FPS in this game. So I'm gonna pop back out and we're gonna try turning down some of the other settings. Okay, so this is still at a 50% resolution scale 
but I've also changed all of the available graphic settings down to two. They default to three. So I'm gonna go ahead and call this medium and say the other one was high, although I don't know what they'd actually be branded as. I think I've heard that three is epic and maybe this is high. I, I don't know, man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go with one, two, and three. One is low, <laughs> two is medium, three is high, and you can disagree with me if you want. Anyway, so it doesn't appear that changing those settings down to two is actually really helping relieve whatever sort of bottleneck this is. I think it's even further reducing the load on the GPU, but it didn't seem to clear up whatever else was that limiting factor. We're just still getting low frame rates down into the upper 30s, low 40s, and we are still not being able to fully utilize our GPU. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn those settings down even more. We're gonna go down to the one setting and we're gonna see if that ends up fixing it. Okay, this is what I'm gonna call low settings, but maybe, you know, it's technically something else. I changed all of the available setting options to the one setting. Remember, it defaulted to three, so this is now down to one. I, I think I could probably turn them down to zero. But here we are, we're now over 60 FPS. We're still not fully utilizing the GPU and it's still at the 50% render resolution scale. So I think we've relieved whatever sort of bottleneck we were at. Let's see if it continues to be relieved as I fly around the city. I think I'm going too fast. How do I speed back down? I don't know, my CPU things are covering the controls, whatever. Anyway, yeah, it looks like we're able to stay, well, I was gonna say stay over 60 FPS, although we did see it dip into the 50s here a little bit. It's still not a GPU limit, but somehow something that we changed is relieving whatever bottleneck we were, uh, we were hitting. So this is a lot better, which means I think we can turn the resolution scaler back up and see, how, see if we can hit native 4K again, but with these settings. Notice that the lighting and the shadows are certainly a lot worse. I think the reflections too. This definitely looks worse going down to these settings. That is no question about that. I crashed into a sign. Anyway, let me go uh, turn the resolution back up. All right, well, this is now native 4K and it's at the one settings on the graphics quality. So we can definitely tell that there is a visual downgrade here compared to the three settings, which I'm calling high. Um, but we are now actually able to use our GPU, where we can see at least standing still here, we'll, we'll try moving in a second, that we're near 100% usage and we are over 70 FPS. So let's go ahead and actually get into motion. All right, the GPU usage is still dipping a bit at times. Let's start flying. Okay. So it is looking possible to hit, you know, around, we're dipping into the 50s here, but once again, I don't think it's the 4K resolution. I think it is still some other sort of bottleneck is a lot better here. Now, man, I don't like how the game looks at these settings. If I had more time, I could try to tweak the individual settings one at a time and see if there's a particular setting that was the relief of the bottleneck here. I wonder if it's just the view distance or maybe like the, I don't know, the texture quality or something. I don't know if there's some kind of streaming issue uh, that was the, was the culprit here. But I think this is about all I have time for in this video. We are playing at 4K on the 3080 at, you know, at least averaging 60 FPS with uh, many times being over, but we certainly saw some dips under. And can I drive a bus? I don't know, guys. <laughs> oh, it parked me down here. L let's steal a car, run around. This is Grand Theft Auto, right? Okay. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I'm certainly interested to see what actual Unreal Engine 5 games end up looking like and how they end up performing. Oops, broke my car. Um, but it certainly seems like it's scalable. Very scalable on the graphics settings. And uh, yeah, I think whatever other kind of limiting factors going on here, it certainly looks like it can be tweaked in the settings 
to be optimized a little bit. So I think real games, we don't have too much to worry about. And overall, I'm still very excited about the Unreal Engine 5 and the kinds of games we'll get out of this thing. I hope all of you have an excellent day.